So it is uh, Thursday, May the 31st. Time to go in once again and uh, take a look at the hives, see how they're doing. We're going to start with the north hive, remembering that a week ago we decided to put a, a honey super on the south hive, but not the north hive. This one wasn't quite as far along, so let's go in and, and see how it's doing. So we're going to start by taking a look inside the um, top box on the north hive from an overview. It's looking quite good. I can see comb on looks like most surfaces. Our feeder is here. It looks like it's uh, pretty empty. Let me have a look. And uh, yeah, it's completely empty. We're probably going to take it out this time if the rest of the box the boxes are doing it well enough. So let's remove it to get started. So we'll begin our inspection by looking at the frame number 10. The last frame, the, most, the northernmost frame, if you like. And I'm going to lift it up and out to give us a bit of space. On the on the B side, still no comb built out, but on the A side we have reasonably good development. A bit of honey across the top, some comb throughout, not quite completely full, still rather light. So let's set that aside. So let's take a look here at frame number seven. This should be a good one. No, nope. quite heavy. We see a lot of honey all around, a very nice crescent of honey. We see a lot of uh, brood development uh, in here. Uh, we see capped and uncapped larvae. We see some drone cells there across the bottom. I'm just gonna flip it and see if I see any new eggs or recent eggs. Okay, so here's our queen right by my finger. So this is on frame number seven in the top box on the north hive. So she is undoubtedly going to be laying some eggs in some of these cells that have been recently uh, vacated. A lot of the cells are capped. A lot of the cells here have um, larva, uncapped larva in them. Um, but she is undoubtedly looking for new opportunities to lay eggs. Can we get a picture at the back of her? There's an egg. Did you see it? Frame number six, let's have a look. First on the A side, so we see a very nice frame. A lot of honey, nice crescent of honey across the top. Nice brood here in the bottom, mainly worker bees, a very few drone cells across the bottom. And on the B side, very comparable, very nice crescent of honey and lots of, of capped. Frame number larvae. five. On the A side, a bit of honey across the top, a little bit of brood there, lots of um, comb. And let me just take a look and see if we see any eggs. When I see lots of eggs inside, so all of those cells, most of those open cells, have eggs laid inside them. So this one is very soon going to be completely covered. In, um, in brood. So let's take a look over on the B side now. And full of eggs as well. All of those, most of the empty cells have eggs inside them. You can see the little white splotch down there. There in the bottom. Frame number four, really, really heavy. So on the A side, oh my gosh, that's a substantial honey frame. Look at the amount of honey that's on that frame. And on the other side, it is all, oh, there's eggs in there. Lots of eggs in those yellowish looking um, cells. The yellowish looking comb was uh, pollen in there formerly. And now we have lots of eggs, so we're gonna have lots of brood developing there. So very nice cells. And finally, frame number two. On the A side, absolutely nothing. And on the B side, we see they've been busy. This is all pretty new comb. We see, uh, what do we see? We just see honey and some uh, nectar there. So we're going to choose a frame that has a lot of honey and move it up into the honey box to encourage the bees to go up into it. I'm going to choose um, a frame that has a lot of honey today 
and uh, there is there are some eggs laid in that frame so in the new box we'll put the excluder in between in between so the queen can't go up and lay more eggs and when those bees hatch out they'll just um, vacate the box uh, normally and get to work but the queen won't continue to lay and as those those cells get vacated the bees can then use those um, for nectar and, uh, and and honey only yeah, we don't want that one We don't, certainly don't want one, the one with the queen. So take that. I'm absolutely sure the queen is not on it. No, do not want. Move that. We want a second one, but I think I'll take the second one out of the box uh, below. So this time we're going to add a drone frame into each box. So this is going to be part of our Varroa mite management uh, program. So on this box or on this frame, the cells are larger, drone cell size. Mm. They will, the bees will build that out. The queen will lay um, unfertilized eggs and they will develop into drones. Mites are more attracted there, and this will be a chance for us to remove some, some mites that may develop uh, in, the, um, in the hive. Substitute in another empty frame here on the outside, and we'll reassemble our, our box. So let's begin the inspection of the, the lower box here on the north hive. Start with frame number 10. So, not much going on, nothing on the outside, the B side. On the A side, we see some good honey development across the top and some comb, only nectar in those, in that comb, in those cells. So frame number six on the A side, a lot of bees, brood, you can see what's going on there and on the B side looks fairly comparable brood um, no pollen on this side there's some pollen down in in this corner same thing here up at the at the top frame number four on the A side relatively light just uh, some comb being built out with some nectar in it over on the A side, a little bit more advanced, not completely drawn out, but we see a lot of pollen there in the middle. We see some brood, we see some uh, larva there in some of those cells, and we see honey uh, across the top. So here we are, frame number three. Feels heavier, so this is a good honey frame. We see a lot of honey on that one, capped across the top, honey in development. Uh, throughout the rest in the a lot of nectar you can see that in the open cells being quite shiny over here on the other side on the other hand we have well quite a combination this is a really good pollen frame a lot of pollen all across the bottom you see some brood in the middle and then a nice crescent of honey across the top as we did on the upper box we're going to add a drone frame into this uh, top box Let's just find a good position to do it. Okay, we're going to put it right there adjacent to a brood frame. And that completes the lower box. Get that on nice and straight. There we go. Okay, we're going to put the honey super on this time. So this is our excluder like we did last week on the other hive. We're going to put that on top, so that means that regular bees, the worker bees, can get through, but the queen, who's a little bit larger, will not be able to, to find her way oops, through the screen. So we brought two frames up here with some bees on the frames, so that should attract other bees to come up and continue to, to populate those cells with them. Um, Come in there. Or no 
our hive is now complete. So we'll start now the inspection of the south hive. We'll take the excluder out of the way. A bit of smoke in there to calm them down a bit. Very curious to see what the honey box is going to look like. Looks like so very curious to see if anything has happened up here so far. It actually doesn't look like it. What we can see is that the frames are mostly empty, all empty, except the two that we brought up the last time. So no action really on the honey box uh, during this uh, last week. So let's lift that out and then let's go in and see what's happening with the brood boxes. So that's the queen excluder, so I'm going to get that out of the way. You see several bees are on top, so apparently they're not having difficulty to get through it. Just give that a shake them off the screen. Um, so first, quick glance from above, I can see I can see um, comb development on two sides here. Looks like two sides here, both sides here, both sides here. Not sure about this side. Both sides. So most sides look like they have comb development, maybe except for the the far side, frame number nine. Feels good and heavy. We'll start first with the A side. So, wow, that looks really nice. A lot of honey across the top. We see a good, you know, couple of populations, couple of islands of brood um, in the two sort of bottom side, one on the left, one on the right. I can see larva in the cells that are uncapped. We see a lot of, uh, of um, nectar on many of these other cells. So that's gonna turn into honey. So that looks fine. I don't see any eggs in there, and I don't expect we'll find our queen on where my finger, my thumb is. You see a bee with its its head right inside the cell. So it's in there working on, the, in this case, there's a nectar in the cell. So it's working uh, to convert that nectar into honey. That's done by essentially uh, in decreasing the water content and increasing the uh, the sugar content of that liquid to eventually it becomes what we know as, as honey. They do that by adding enzymes, they do that by uh, drying with their wings, so to dehydrate uh, somewhat the, uh, the cell, reduce the amount of uh, humidity. Now we're going to take a look at frame number seven. So top hive on the, or top box on the north hive. We'll start with the A side. So on the A side, we see a lot of honey across the top. We see a bit of pollen. We see a lot of nectar. And I see a bunch of eggs there in the middle. On the B side, oh, there's some very nice uh, honey, a nice crescent of honey all across the top of the five now. Let's pull that up and out. Oh. And out. Also, a very nice heft to it. We'll start with the, the B side. A lot of honey, a lot of uh, pollen and a lot of, of um, nectar. So this is this is a food frame, not a bee rearing frame. How's the other side? The other side, conversely, we have we have honey across the top. We have a lot of of um, brood down below. We see capsules. We see open frame number up. four. Oh, there's a queen, right there. You see her? Just above my finger. That the, see the pointy, the bottom pointy part of my hive tool? Yeah, there we got her. There's our queen, our elusive queen. So we've seen the queens on, on both hives. This frame is full of eggs. Oh my gosh, she's been busy on this one. All of those open cells there are full of eggs. So next time we look at this, it's probably gonna be either full of larva or open larva or capped but looks like she's been uh, very busy on this one. So let's get her right back there inside the box. Look at these bees in here. It looks like they're all watching us. They're all lined up, looking up and out of the box. Yeah, look at those. So interesting. 
Okay, let's get in and take a look at uh, frame number two so we can get done the inspection of this box. So frame number two is looking pretty nice. Comb is completely drawn out on it. A lot of uh, nectar, no eggs on this one yet. No eggs on this one yet. Flip it over, take a look on the A side. Very comparably fully drawn out with comb now. Still working to uh, to draw out the comb to increase the, the depth of the uh, the comb. So that's a, definitely a work in very early, early stages. But on the B side, on the other hand, quite nicely drawn out. A little bit of honey across the top and lots and lots of nectar down below. I might want to move this one up into the uh, top box. So let's do that. That was like so. To our honey box. In place of one of the frames already up there. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we're going to take the top box off. Remembering that the queen is in there. Oh my gosh, that's heavy, heavy, mm -hmm. heavy. And we're just going to set it right over here while we work on the bottom box. There we go. So we want to get in now and inspect the, the bottom box on the south hive. Just from a, a glance from above, looking into the frames, it's also looking really nicely uh, populated. Reinforces our decision to have put the honey box on, the honey super, uh, several days ago. So let me pull out number 10 mm. and we're gonna set this one aside but just to get us started and we can see already it's looking quite nice nothing still on the outside on the B side that's mm. empty but on the the A side we see a good honey frame honey across the top and lots of nectar in all the cells down but below on the, um, on the A side number nine this is a very nice looking frame. We've got brood in the middle. We've got honey across the top. We've got some pollen in there. So this looks like a very good frame. I'm going to flip it up and see if I see any eggs. Moving forward to frame number eight. On the B side, good drawn frame. We see, uh, we see some honey. We see a lot of open larvae mm. all throughout here. We see, let me see if I see, oh, I see larvae. In, oh, so many, this is really interesting. We see eggs, we see very small larvae, and we see the larvae getting increasingly larger as we move up the frame. So different time periods when the queen has laid the eggs, all the way up to this section up here by my finger. Yeah, there you can see the larvae in a more Develop stage so some of that will be soon ready for uh, capping so this box is very nicely developed all the way through so further proof that this hive is significantly in advance of the of the north hive almost certainly due to the uh, the relative um, strengths of the queens so here on the B side this is number 10987 Honey across the top, larva, open larva throughout, some cap brood in the middle. Again, another nice looking uh, frame. Uh, let's see if I see any eggs on this one. And I don't see new eggs, but the queen obviously was here. So that was the B side. Over on the A side, uh, we see oh, a lot of eggs in cells here. So those cells are substantially, those open cells are substantially full of eggs. There you can see them really nicely. And a little bit of uh, cap brood, not much left. These, this is a frame where there was a lot of cap brood. The bees have obviously uh, hatched out and the queen has been back. The other, uh, the worker bees have cleaned out the cells and the queen has been back and, and laid more eggs into those cells. So moving ahead to frame number six, here we see a bit of um, burr comb. I'm going to remove. Bees are probably not going to be completely happy about that. I have to figure out where to put it. Let me just set it down here for the moment. 
So let's take a look here at frame number six in the bottom box. Lots of bees here where I put my fingers. So this has been a really productive frame for us. You see there lots of bees, lots of, um, of uh, brood in various stages of development. You see open larva. Oh, you see some open drone larva. That's interesting. Look down here. So the larva, the drone cells are much bigger. The drones are bigger. The larva is bigger. Uh, very interesting. These are unfertilized cells that are eggs that the queen lays and they hatch out into drones. Drones, by the way, don't sting um, and they just serve the purpose of being there to fertilize um, a virgin queen. The bottom box on the south hive. Let's pull that up and have a look. Start with the bee side all about brood. Over here on the A side, pretty much the same thing. Quite a nice um, brood frame, very well developed. A lot of that is capped and uh, getting ready to hatch out. Over on the A side, still drawing out comb. Early stage, we see a bunch of, uh, of big, big cells. So those are going to be uh, drone cells, those big ones. And then the rest are, uh, are um, worker bees and I can see eggs in a lot of these cells all up here where the bees are are working if you can see inside some of those cells you can see the eggs on frame number two doesn't seem to be much at all very light comb development on that side very light comb development on that side I think this is the one we will remove as we add in our um, our drone frame so with the, the drone frame that I put in, so we're, gonna, we're putting one in each of the brood boxes. What we'll do, once that's um, fully, um, uh, it's been fully uh, um, uh, worked by the queen, eggs have been laid, larvae have hatched, larvae have been um, capped. What we'll do is we'll remove it. And in fact, we're going to then put those frames into the, into the freezer. We're going to eliminate those frames. Those drones don't have a lot of value in the hive in reality. So it's not a problem for the health of the hive, but they will attract, those, those cells in particular will attract the Varroa mites, which is a terrible uh, parasite for bees. They will get attracted in there, they will get trapped inside those cells, and when we freeze them, that will, that will uh, kill the Varroa mites. And then we will, um, we will scrape those frames off and, and get them into a state where they can be reused in future. So that will be a really good thing for the, it's not a good thing for the drones, of course, the drones to be born, in those cells but it'll be a really good thing for the for the health of the hive and that's what's most important um, to uh, to us and to the bees so let me swing this one back up on top So we'll put the honey super back on top of these two. So there's the honey box back on top. Remembering that we have the excluder in between, the, the queen excluder in between the brood boxes and the honey box so that the all other bees can come up except for the, uh, the queen. So there is a gap here on the top cover. So the bees that are working here in the honey super can either come up through this hole in the top cover and out through this gap or they can go down through the brood chambers and out through this gap in the here by the bottom of the, the hive, the, the regular entrance. So they have that uh, option. It has enough of an overhang here so the bees can get in and out through that, uh, that gap in the top cover. There we go. So we have completed inspection of the two hives, the north hive and the south hive. We've decided that to add a, a honey box to the to the north hive. We'll see how that proceeds. That hive is not doing as well. It's not as advanced in the brood area as this hive. This hive is certainly in a really good place. Uh, quite a lot of, of development down here. They will certainly start to populate the, uh, the honey box uh, soon. That one is a little bit farther behind, but we're uh, 
we're hoping and expecting that they will catch up. We've seen the queen, she looks good. We see a lot of uh, brood pattern. We see a lot of uh, new eggs. So the population will continue to uh, increase. We decided this time to take the feeder out of that box. There is enough in the neighborhood right now. Uh, we have some rain coming over the next couple of days, which will plump up the, uh, the flowers. So there'll be lots of nectar uh, for them to take back. I noticed today uh, on my way home that the, uh, the blackberry bushes are flowering now. So that will be another great source of, uh, of food. We have a lot of blackberries uh, around here. So with that, we're done.